This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 12, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a panel of, well, <laughs> misfits. DEI hires, right? MSNBC. Biden being given polling and information not based in reality. After Joe Biden's big boy presser tonight, MSNBC host tried to give Joe Biden high marks for not falling off the stage. But you tell me, they did not look overall pleased. They expressed concern that Biden and Biden's team may be giving him polls and other information that's not based in reality. They were referring mainly to polls, which Biden keeps insisting show him in the lead. They're going to really, really stretch this, lie, cheat, and steal. And I hope, I hope they're not successful. They were referring to mainly polls, which Biden keeps insisting show him in the lead. They also pointed specifically to his historically low approval ratings. What about 30%? With people that can't read or write, and see what they have to say. We're talking about Rachel Maddow. We're talking about this nut here that we heard speak earlier. Uh, most of these people have broken the law and definitely work for the alphabet agencies. You know, two things on the politics. There's no incumbent president with lower approval ratings who won. There are only three with lower approval ratings than he has right now, and they all lost. Donald Trump, George H.W. Bush, and Jimmy Carter. So some of the political information is what worries some folks in his inner circle. And there is right now no poll that shows him winning. Yeah, I think that's all, all well said. The political calculations, I thought, you know, him saying that I would drop out if they said there's no way you can win and no poll shows that. Of course, no single poll could show that, right? So this, this is fundamentally him saying that is, uh, to me, puts his finger on what has made this so difficult. And so... Uh, anguishing for so many people, which is that we just don't know the future. No one does. And no one gets to say, if you do this thing definitively, then this will follow because that's not the way it works. Even if he's not correct about his own political prospects or in denial about the inexorable trajectory of being a human being who is mortal, like we all are. Yeah. That was, yeah. to me, clarifying. Look at Rachel Maddow. What a piece of work. You got to wonder what goes through her head. IQ combined here, 72. All four of them together, remedial. And, you know, you make a really important point, Chris, that I think we can't over, we can't say frequently enough um, as Democrats and people who want Donald Trump to be prevented uh, from returning to the White House sort of anguish over this decision, which is that there is not perfect information about the future. And the argument that President Biden is best positioned to beat Donald Trump is an argument. There are other arguments that are also data-based that other people might have a better shot at it. Um, I think that the... Why are they so afraid of Donald Trump getting into office? Because they're doing things that are illegal. And they may be afraid of going to prison for treason. These are alphabet operatives that happen to work at news agencies, period. Period. The, what, what Nicole points out about the, um, the reality about polling numbers for incumbent presidents and, and the, the, the real history of that versus what President Biden said, which was not actually... Uh, factually accurate, as far as I can tell, that's worrying because it makes me worry that the president is being given information about his political standing that may not be based in reality, that may be sunnier than is yeah. real. Um, but I also think the president spoke from a factually grounded place throughout. Look, the bottom line is when my YouTube channel is doing three times more views and their whole station 
of thousands of people, we've got big, big problems. These people live in a bubble somewhere. Look at them. You couldn't find four misfits more, more unworthy of being anchors in these four, period. God bless you and yours. I hope you get it. Share, subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. In Rachel Maddow's Bizarro World.